Yeah, all right, guys. This is Game Boy Luke, and welcome back to some more Fire Rider Megan as Lock. Um, in the previous episode, uh, we got to this point here. Um, we did go in the Mount Moon. We had a good look around inside, um, and we realised that all the Pokemon in there are crazy scary. Um, in <laughs> you probably have just seen the um, grinding montage I just did. I managed to get Blurg and Yumabra up to level 20. Um, I'm also gonna head in here real quick because now that Magikarp's dead. Um, we have space for another member on our team, so I may as well pick this Wismer out um, and stick him on our, or stick her on our team rather. I'm gonna put her in first position real quick. I probably could have grinded her up too as well, but um, it wasn't until just now I was reading comments and stuff and thought, ah, oh, screw it, I'll just stick this Wismer on my team. Um, and we've also got Bullet Seed. Now I don't know if it can learn Bullet Seed, but it'd be cool if it could. No, it can't, alright, never mind. Um, now this guy apparently evolves into a Loud Ridder level 20. I'm just gonna have a look. It is moves. It has Pound, Astonish, and Uproar. Not the best, not the best at, by any standards, but uh, I'm sure this guy or chick will be somewhat useful to our team anyway. So, let's try and get through here. Wow, we can't run away from freaking Geodudes. Are you joking? Are we that slow? Is, is, is Laldred or Wisma rather that slow? I guess we're going to have to do a lot of switcheroo training. Have we even been in here? I don't even remember if we've been in here or not. Let's have a look. Let's just skip through here. Nope, we have definitely not been in here. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with that. Okay. Whatever, bro. Whatever floats your boat. Alright, so this guy's got a Sand Shrew, uh, 12. I'm just going to go with the Almighty Uproar. And do some crazy damage with the uproar, and it's almost gonna take it out. But now we're gonna start missing because Sandshrew's a dick, and like she moves like sand attack. Uh, he's got a Poochina. Oh wow, we're par apparently once we, once we use uproar, we're locked into it. So that's kind of something we should be careful of. And I'm gonna switch into Zubat here because I don't want to stay in some R thing. So I just I should probably say in the grinding montage real quick. Um. I did get Blow level 20, and he did learn Thunder Punch finally. Uh, Thunder Punch is base 75, whereas Thunder Shock's base 40, I think. So it's almost double the damage right there. Um, and your Mad Bro did learn Fury Swipes, I think. So that's right there. It's nothing special really, but yeah, that's all that happened really there. If we come over here, we can pick ourselves up a Star Piece, which is a, which is pretty useful because we can sell that later, and we can. Um, Use it to buy repels or pokeballs and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna come through here and find a freaking magma. Can you yawn on us and smog and put us to sleep? Okay. Uh, I don't really think this thing can do much to us, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait till we wake up and then roar it again. And Wisma's gonna learn how. That's not bit. That's not even that bad because we could just like totally set up with that. We can just sit here, howl up, and then sweep with a uproar. I mean, holy crap, there's Lavatar in here. There's, there's Lavatar in here. Hello? We could have got a Lavatar. We're also careful nature as well, I noticed. I don't remember. I think that's the last potion. We need to be careful. We need to be so careful now. Um, uh, I kind of just want to get through here. Maybe we'll train Echo up uh, a little later. I'll do another grinding montage or something. Um, but it's nothing to mess with right now because I don't want to do switch training and oh crap I was actually meant to dodge this trainer because she has Oddish um, a poison poison type Pokemon which we have no effect on right now so um, that's kind of crap but we're going to Fury Swipe for you um, I'll tell you what's we'll that Echo um, what do I have Antidote? I have at least one Antidote so why not just go for the uproar here and see how much damage we can oh that does quite a lot of damage hey, it's not even bad no tad it's not even bad. This thing is sweeping. You're 16. C dot. I calm down. Okay. Um. I need howl because I think this thing has bide. It's got. Okay. It's got harder. Right, we'll use the howl again then. We we'll use howl again. So I think. I think howl boosts attack by two stages. Wow. It just used shadow shadow ball on us. And it's a good job that we are normal type. Holy crap. I would have done some damage to anybody else. Um. No. No. As I was saying, we should probably not. Yeah, we'll leave Echo there, um, and I'll tell you what, we'll put Elekin in front, because he's the most reliable member on our team, um, and they're less likely to faint. Even though this trainer down here, I think, has um, some normal-type Pokemon, but 
Anyway, I'm gonna come through here. I'm pretty sure there's another rocket in here. There is. We're putting a big job here. Get lost, kid. Excuse me. Can a guy walk through Mount Moon without being harassed by a rocket member? Alright, Cacnea. Um, I'm gonna karate chop you. It's too bad you're not um, Dark type yet, because that would have killed you. But Ekins, just gonna go for that almighty Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch! And pick up an item in here. There's an Ether, which is always useful, because I always tend to run out of PP. I mean, I did just run out of PP with um, uh, Uproar, so. Um, we also just picked up TM Thief there, which isn't a, exactly a good move. But we'll keep, we'll hold on to it. I'm pretty sure this guy's got a couple of normal type Pokemon as well, so you may have broken easily just karate chop his way through this real quick. We're taking damage right now. They all got quick attack. We need to be careful actually, because um, there's a lot of uh, rock type trainers in this place. Um, and we don't have any potions left. So I used them all on Wizma, but hopefully we can find another one. Find some potions in this place. Oi! Stop walking! Oi! Stop walking around, I'm trying to try to battle you. Okay. Um, even though it's pretty fortunate because Elekid does carry Karate Chop, which is going to one shot most of the rock type Pokemon. When I say most, I mean most, and not Lavatar apparently. Level 21. That's not even bad. We're getting some pretty nice levels here, and I kind of want to get Elekid ready to take down. Um, Misty, because it's going to be a tough battle. I mean, even if we can get him to Electabuzz by the next episode, or just before the next episode, because I could do a grinding montage or something, that would be great, because then we would easily sweep the gym. But yeah. Alright, now that we're here, I'm pretty sure there's an item up here. I think it's a potion. No, it's a revive. We can't use revives, though, obviously, because this is an Uzlock, so it's kind of useless to us. But you know how things go. Um, the rocket guy, Jesus Christ, they're, they're everywhere. Raticate! Don't have Hyper Fang, otherwise that won't be upset. Uh, I'm gonna switch you and finish you off. That was easier than I thought it was gonna be. I think it's super fan, that would scare the crap out of me. I'm just gonna go ahead and Thunder Punch these guys, because, you know, experience is experience at the, at the end of the day. So, uh, Paris, I'm not gonna fight you because you end up paralyzing me or something. Uh, Chimeco, it's pretty. Weird to have in Mount Moon, but another rocket. Jeez, we Team Rocket shall find the fossils. Reviving, uh, reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. I see. How many fucks do I get? Dunsparce. Dunsparce needs a Mega Evolution. All in favor? Comment I. <laughs> no. If you come over here and get a Moonstone as well, that's always useful. I don't know what you can evolve in Moonstones, but. Hey, stop! I found these fossils, they're both mine! Well, someone's a greedy guts. Share with me. Oh no, that's not even funny. Oh no. Um. Coughing is very scary. I'm gonna go into Echo, because Echo can take hits, I think. Okay, no, we can't. Uh, we'll go back into Blug then, because now we can actually use Thunder Punch. Don't poison me as well, thank you. Um, and then Electric. That's definitely different. Let's go for a cry job. BAM! Electric! I genuinely thought we were going to lose a team member there. Um, actually, we should probably use that antidote on Wizma because I don't want her dying yet. There you go. Take that. Alright, normally I pick the the, um, the dome fossil because uh, Kabuto's uh, Kibuto is typically my favourite one, but I'm going to go pick, go ahead and pick a Helix fossil here because Omanite's Knight's cool. Almost does pretty um, pretty beast special attacker, so I'm going to go with that. Try not to go leave me alone. Come down here. What's this? Oh, so <laughs> an antidote. So it's a good job. Um, that's there. I mean, if we didn't have any antidotes, we would have been screwed. So, all right. So, what do we have around here? Is there any berries on the floor? These guys here. This this guy teaches Mega Kick, and this guy teaches Mega Punch. And I think what we're gonna do here is actually teach Mega Punch to Mankey because he has. Oh, we could. I suppose we could probably teach it to Wizma saying that because it would get stabbed from it. So let's um, uh, I change my mind. Let's uh, let's teach Mega Punch to um Wizma. I think it would benefit her more. What move should we get rid of? Uh, we have Howl, Pound, Uproar, and Astonish. I kind of want to keep Pound because it's the a high PP move. Uh, I kind of want to keep Uproar. Actually, no, I tell you what, Uproar can go because it's got low PP and it locks us into it and it can be quite dangerous to use. So we'll just 
Let's get rid of that. This guy teaches Mega Kick, but I'm pretty sure Mega Kick has a really low accuracy, uh, really, really low accuracy, like worse than Mega Punch, so I wouldn't want to risk using Mega Punch over, um, that, get it, Raspberry? Because it's like Raspberry. Oh, they unlock these floors. Oh, there's a trainer here. Okay, um, do I risk back? Oh, screw it, we'll battle her. Come at me. I came, I came to Mount Moon in search of mushroom Pokemon. She's after shrooms. This chick's high as fuck. All right. Uh, oh wow. Oh wow. That that's not that's not good. Paris is becoming a problem. <gasps> we don't have. Uh oh. I regret this entirely. I I I do. Oh no. Oh, I tried to use poison powder. Thunder punch. Wake up. Wake up. Take it. Get rid of it now. Pidgeot. Um, Thunder Punch. P Ponyta. Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch everything. Go away. I genuinely thought we were going to lose someone there. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay, we are going to get out of here, like, right now. Like, seriously, uh, we can't catch a Pokemon here because we, we picked up Magikarp on this route, technically. Oh, we got little spaces to fish here as well. Um... I tell you what we do need though actually is a grass type Pokemon, so I guess we can head north of this route and try and catch a grass Pokemon, or maybe we can fish somewhere. Do you reckon they've added more fence holes in this city for us to fish in? Um, not too sure. Uh, let's have a look around actually. If we just go up here... No, there's no holes. Oh, there's grass up there. I wonder what we can find in this grass. A grass type Pokemon, maybe? This guy has like four freaking spaces of grass. A Pidgey, alright. Okay. It's one level off evolving. That's not even bad. Uh, we'll go for Swift. Let's see how much damage this does. Almost takes it out, that's not bad. Paralyze? Alright, I thought we were gonna get a Parahax there. Um, let's go for the Pokeball. I'm gonna have to call this Pidgey, uh. I'm gonna have to name this Pidgey after my friend if I catch it. Use another tackle or quick attack that works and paralyze yourself. Yeah! I got you! I got you, I got you. Let's go for another Pokeball then. Catch this bitch. Two, three. Gotcha. Alright, I'm gonna have to name this after my good friend the Heated Mo because he loves Pidgeot. Pidgeot! Actually. I'm gonna name it after him. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it Pidgey. Just official Pidgey. Pidgey! Alright, so he's like one level away from evolving actually, so. And I know Pidgeotto is. Uh, Pidgeotto is like. And Pidgeot, uh, Pidgeot is like. OG. First Jenna Pokemon. Gen 1 Pokemon. So, first Jenna. Well, <laughs> Gen 1 <laughs> I always used to catch Pidgeot when I used to play through the original red version and stuff, so it's always cool to have um, him on the team. I'm gonna have to do a bit of grinding, I think, though. What moves do you have, bro? Docile. Tackle, sand attack, gust. Uh, gust is pretty cool. Can probably get rid of tackle. Because, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, right now, uh, I'm not really sure what we've got to do. We've got to fight. Uh, we've got to fight our rival. We can go into the gym and get the gym badge. That's like what we can do. Uh, I think the gym battles will be, will be kind of easy experience. So, I have to tell you what, we can use that rare candy we have. Uh, where is it? I'm going to use that right now, actually. Okay, it's level 18. And then have a Pidgeot right off the bat. Awesome! Ugh, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm happy with this, actually. The only thing, the only thing I can think of is we may have problems fighting uh, Lieutenant Surge later, but I mean, we've got loads of chances to catch new Pokemon until then. So, there we go, Pidgeotto. Awesome. I think Pidgeotto evolves into Pidgeot level 30, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, if you come down here, I'm gonna go sell this star piece, I just noticed I'm still carrying it, so if we sell that real quick, we gotta buy some more potions and stuff. Wow, Mystic Water? Wow. It's not like we have a water type on our team though, so. Alright, sell that. Um, how much do Moonstone sell for? 150. Right, I'm gonna sell one of these because I don't know if I'll need the second one later. Um, 
Um, I think that's all we need to sell, really. Uh, what else can we buy? Super potions. How many of these can we have? 24, okay. Um, Alright. Let's buy 10 of these. Uh, we've still got Pokeballs, so I'm not going to bother with buying any Great Balls yet. Let's buy a couple of Antidotes. Uh, a few of these. A few of these. Oh, a few of these. Not a couple. Um, and I would buy Repels, but um, I wouldn't say they're necessary right now. Let's buy a few more of these just to stock up on. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this right now, actually. Uh, the only thing I'm scared of is fighting our rival, because I don't know what he is going to have. Um, I have no idea what Pokemon he's going to have. So what I think we should do is, I don't think it would take long if we just ran down to the left here and um, and just grind it a little bit. I mean, why not? I mean, we've got, um, we got time to. We are lower level. We are freaking uh, a really low level compared to these Pokemon, though. Like, seriously. Let's go for the Gust again. Compared to these wild type, these wild Pokemon, we're we're pretty um we're pretty low level, and that's not really a good thing. Let's quickly do more damage. Well, apparently so. <laughs> um, these sentries are hard to take down actually, so this is making it a little, a little more difficult. Oh, okay. Um, Mega Punch. At least Mega Punch. Bam. One more. Bam. Take that Mega Punch. Um, Sandshrew, uh, we need, we really need a Grass or Water type Pokemon. Um, I, I am kind of scared of Garrett, uh, 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 rival Minty, rather. Um, I don't really know what he's going to have, what Pokemon he's going to have. I know what he has in the original game, but that's the original game. This is completely different, so, um, makes things a lot difficult when trying to predict what your opponent is going to have. And what Pokemon I need to prepare for it. And I'm not reading any documentation because I'm going to try and go through this completely blind. Um, saying that, I did catch a Pokemon in this route and loads of people, loads of trainers and stuff give out Pokemon. So I probably could have picked something up here. I should probably speak to the... Um, most of them just say the same stuff as the, the re re original game. But apparently some people try and give you Pokemon and stuff. And I've probably missed out on getting like three or four different gift Pokemon, but, oh well, I'm not even mad because we have a Pidgeot, so, whatever, alright, Echo, Mega Punch this, this bitch, ah, Paralyzed, that's looking funny, Mega Punching for days, level 18, I kind of, uh oh, okay, we'll switch out, I don't particularly want to grind too much on screen, because I know I can do it off screen, but I really don't want to lose this lock, either, so I don't know if, Ah, we can go, actually yeah, let's go to the gym. Let's go to the gym for the last few minutes of this episode and see if we can grind on a few trainers in there. Only problem is if I try and switch train, I'm kind of worried that if I switch into Elekid or something, that it's going to do um, a lot of damage and take him out. But you don't know until you try, so let's head in here and see. Hey bro, how's it going? Splash! I'm first up, let's do it! Alright, let's go. Let's, um, Let's do it. Uh, what Pokemon, how many Pokemon does he have? He has two. Horsey, level 19. Holy crap. Okay, um, let's go into Blurg then. And uh, this needs Leer. We're going to Thunder Punch. Easily going to take it out. Shelder. I miss you, Shelder, so much. How much is a Mega Punch going to do? Or a Beam. It's doing huge amounts of damage right now. I was going to go for the last one now. I don't want to risk losing my team member though. And normally that trainer up the, in the top left there has a level 19 Goldeen, I think. So, let's just heal up real quick. And go beat her up real quick as well. Real quick, real quick. Um, I, I, <laughs> I do feel kind of confident about beating Misty, but I don't want to risk it. I really don't fancy risking trying to beat her right now. Because I went up losing. Corsola, level 22. Holy crap, okay, Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch. How much experience are you going to gain from that? Oh, not that much. We're one level away from evolving, apparently, with, um, with Loudred. Or Wisma, probably. Wisma, that it will be Loudred. Um, so maybe we should just go grind for the last couple of seconds of this video. And then we'll do all sorts of crazy shit in the next one. And we'll take on Gary and... and uh, I keep calling him Gary. Take on... <gasps> Pikachu! Take on, um, Minty and, um... 
Misty. Minty and Misty. Magnemite! Magnemite. Whoa, okay, that's, um... You're, you're fast, so, for some reason. It's kind of scaring me. Take this karate job. Hold this karate job for me. Alright, let's just head back. I'm sorry about the grinding. Uh, I just kind of want to pad this episode out so it's at least 20 minutes. Um, and I kind of... Yeah, I don't want to... Go jump in head, head first into these things and end up screwing myself over, so... So it's better to be safe than sorry. My mum always told me anyway, so... <laughs> let's go for that mega punch. Almost level 20 right there. I'm gonna... Come back. Almost level 20. Let's just go back. Get that last tiny bit of experience. Uh, take the pound. Do the mega punch. Do the pound. Damn it, we're poisoned. That's not funny. And... Wow! Alright, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Alright, we're good. Didn't want to waste an antidote. Alright. And. Get the Mega Punch. Hold this, please. Hold this, please. Hold this, please. You flinch me, you're joking. Level 20! And. Yes! Our Wisma is now evolving into a Loudred, which is always good. I mean, I think this thing can probably pack quite a punch as well with Howl. If we can get the setup going, we might be able to take down um, Minty pretty, pretty easily. So we got Echo the Loudred, which is pretty cool. And let's test her power now. Mega Punch! Wow. Okay. How much base attack do you have? 34. 34! Oh wow, you have pretty high special attack as well. You can be a mixed attacker. So if we get Water Pulse, I'm pretty sure for some reason a lot of normal types in this game can learn really random moves. So if we're lucky um, and we beat Misty, we can teach Water Pulse to Loudred and get some type coverage on her. That's um, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool actually. Let's have a look. Um, let's just get an evaluation of our team right now. You have 34 special attack. Uh, you have 30 physical. 33, physical. You've still got to evolve though. What's the speed like on Loudred? I'm oh, not that good. It's got pretty high HP as well. And uh, Blurg's just sat there with 40 attack and 46 special attack. 56 speed. Bam! You don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. So, that's um pretty formidable team. I guess the next Pokemon I should really level up is Pidgeotto. But I think I'll do that in between episodes. I'll probably get them all to like level 23 or something. The same level as um, Elekid, so... And um, that'll be another grinding montage at the start of the next episode. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, then don't forget to uh, leave a rating and a comment. And I guess I'll catch you in the next episode of uh, Fire Red Omega Nuzlocke. See you later, guys.